Hello and welcome back. So we are here and we are about to uh, take on the Sprakes. So we are trying to get information about what the Sprakes don't want Flora to know. So it up here on our scroll, we, it says collect one more of these. And uh, I'm going to say it's a Mandrake root. Um, and so we're going to try to collect this from one of these sprites and uh, let's see what happens and if we can actually get it here with our sprite battle. Okay, so um, uh, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and we are getting close to wrapping up our um, adventures in Firefly Forest, I think. And also we're getting pretty close to wrapping up our second grade curriculum too. So uh, we're looking at data data uh, relationships today, I believe. So let's go ahead and start with Sprite, and here we go. All right, so Sprite is... Let's start with Falling Star Smash. We only have one Sprite we're battling. Okay, so we are finishing up our time, and so uh, you can go ahead and check the uh, last video I put out. Um, looked like we have a few more time questions left over. So what time does this clock show? Well, it's 11... 5, 10. So 11 colon 10. So 11. This separates the, the colon separates the hours from the minutes. And 5, 10. Remember, instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're going to be counting on by 5. So 11, 10 is what we have here. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! And there we go. Oh, this is going to be a tougher battle. We didn't really take too much off a of sprite there, did we? Okay, so here comes Forest Hurricane with 1,097 points of damage. Uh, let's go ahead and do Falling Star Smash. Okay, so what time does this clock show? So, it is in between 6 and 7, so that means it's still 6 o'clock. So, 6 and 5 times 10, that's going to be 50. If you do need to count around, though, you can do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Or once you get comfortable realizing that this, if it points to, if the minute points to the uh, three, it's 15. If it points to the six, it's 30. If it points to the nine, it's 45. You can just do 45, 50. So 650 is our answer. All right. And boom. 22, 88 points of damage. If we do that again, our next attack will defeat the Sprite. Here comes Forest Hurricane and miss. Oh no. All right. So we already have Sprite. So we're just going to go ahead and start with this. So here we're into the graphing now. This says from the graph, determine how many fewer people picked orange than red. Okay, so this is orange and it is in between eight and 10, so orange, there is nine people that selected orange. Red, we're gonna switch up the colors here, I guess. Um, red, it's in between 18 and 20, so that would be 19 people picked red. All right, so red is orange, orange is red, and making everything nice and clear, right? So all we're doing is we're removing the um, uh, ones place. So nine minus nine, that's gonna be zero. 10 minus 0 is going to be 10. So there are 10 fewer 10 fewer people picked orange than red. All right. Love it when I color code things to make it easier. All right. So we got over 2,100 points of damage. So we are sending that spike out of here. Okay. So 11 battle stars here. Apple Pot and Ice Creator leveled up. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and click OK. Ice Creator gained 100 hearts. Very cool. And we all gained five member stars each. So let's open up our chest. And we got a Mandrake. Awesome. So we got the Mandrake that we need. Uh-oh. But we got into an attack right away. So we have two Spectrals here. Let's go ahead and do Supernova since we've got two of them. Uh, from the graph, determine how many more people picked hockey than soccer. Okay, I am going to color cord that color co color coordinate this. Um, so this is 15. 
16, 17, 18, 19. If you do need to draw a line still, it's completely fine to draw a line in order to figure out where it is hitting. Um, make sure your line is straight. So there's 19 people that chose hockey. And then we have soccer, that's gonna be purple. So let's just do blue for um, soccer since we don't have that choice. And then uh, soccer is gonna be nine, it's one less than 10. So this answer is gonna be exactly the same as the one we did before. So 19 minus nine, we're canceling out our ones place, bringing the 10 down, which means that we are gonna end up with 10, a difference of 10. All right. And up we go. Let's see what we do. Okay. So we're doing pretty good here. It looks like it's going to be a couple more attacks. I'm going to do one more AoE. Here comes Forest Hurricane. Boom. 1,652 damage. Um, you know, I'm actually going to try Falling Star Smash and see if Falling Star Smash can go ahead and knock them out. What is the least popular animal in the data set? So uh, least means the lowest, the smaller, the smallest number. So the least popular animal is gonna be the dog. So the dog is the least popular animal. All right. Here we go, let's see. Ooh, and still 108 points of health left over so i think we're gonna go ahead and switch back to an aoe here and see oh spectral mist which is awesome um you're new so no i'm not gonna rescue you i'm gonna do supernova and then try to rescue your buddy so i think that's what i'm gonna do let's see if this works out for me what is the least popular name in the data set okay so we're looking for the smallest tower which will have the uh, least number of books read. So Allison read 19, Becky read 20, Eric read 18, Melissa read 17. So 17 is the smallest number. And if you look at them, you can see that it is the shortest as well. So that is, Melissa is the least popular name uh, for the number of books read. Okay, let's cast that spell. She, she read the less the least books okay here we go and let's see if this works out so I ooh, it looks like the other spectral has just a couple of uh, hit points left 100 so we'll, we will be able to rescue this spectral so good 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 okay let's go ahead and rescue you and yes let's try to break the mind illusion spell over the monster how many people are in group C so this is 15 16, 17. I can see that there are five uh, lines from 15 to 20. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So each line would be equal to one person in the group. So 17 is our answer. And you want to double check your lines just to make sure you're reading the graph correctly. Okay, here comes Spectral. All right. I love getting new pets. Awesome. Welcome to the team, Spectral. And we won. Woohoo. So 21 battle stars for this battle. And 10 member stars each. Let's open up our chest. Got a tin can in there. I love those. Paul finished. Let's head back. Okay. okay, let's go right straight back. Okay. Well done. Thank you, Flora. We got 200 gold coins. Awesome. Hmm. This is a mandrake. Mandrakes are the best spies in the whole forest. Oh, no. I wonder what's going on with this mandrake. Collect more for me and bring them in for questioning. Maybe they can tell us more. Okay, so we have to get more mandrakes. Be sure to look around. They may be in more than one place. Okay. Let's take a look around and see if we can... Woo, come back. There we go. Let's see. Let's get this firefly first. And then let's see if we can find more mandrake. So we're coming up here, blowing our dandelions. 
An old sock. I love it when there's an old sock in the dandelions. That is fantastic. Okay, so let's see if we can go ahead and get away with one battle here as we get back up to try and find more Mandrake. So we know that we need to find a Mandrake, which is good. A falling Star Smash. Here we come. How many people used a football? Playground equipment used the number of students, the kind of equipment. So football, we go, go up to the top, we go over, nine people used football. Nine people used football. So that one is a very clear graph to read because there the numbers are on each line. Sometimes we have to do the work. We have to read that information. All right, Palm Prickle, come, let's see. 1373. So from first grade graphing um, to second grade graphing, I don't feel like there's a huge jump in um, uh, the amount of <clears throat> work done. So it, it seems like a very natural sort of jump. Your group completed a survey of students' favorite superpower. Fill in any missing information on the bar graph. Click on the gray area above the category to shade in the missing bar. Okay, so your group's results. 14 students liked super strength. So 14 like super strength, 13 students liked mind reading. So this is the 13 I'm gonna come over, click up to 13 and 15 students liked super speed. So that is correct. We organize the information into the bar graph so it's very easy for everyone to see quickly and clearly. And that's why we uh, use graphs in order to show the data relationships so that it's easier to understand how the data is working together. All right, Falling Star Smash, here we come. So here is a line plot. And what line plots show are how many people or how many things fit into a certain category. Um, so we are looking for the classmate height here, and then these are the number of classmates. So each X that we put on our line plot is going to show, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the height of the class. And so what we're gonna be doing here, three classmates were two feet. So we have to do one, two, three X's for two feet. Four classmates were three feet. So four, one, two, three, four. There's four were three feet. They give, they give us four feet for eight classmates, six classmates. That's gonna be two less than eight. And then let's just double check that, that there are six. Uh, and then five classmates were six feet. Well, this is six, it's gonna be one less. So now we have five here. All right, let's cast our spell. Woohoo! Line plots are very uh, good for organizing the information in a way that you can see how data uh, is, uh, interacts with each other. <clears throat> 11 battle stars. Apologize for my voice, I'm still a little bit under the weather. It's got this lingering, lingering cold. And it looks like we have got an old coin, copper coin, and some florins, awesome. Now let's see if we can sneak by this guy. Nope, okay. So here is Forest Caller. Let's go ahead and Falling Star Smash our Forest Caller. I really enjoy line plots. The once you get kind of get them down, they're really fun. Okay, so uh, four stones were one inch. I guess I clicked that maybe. Four stones were one inch, seven stones were three inches. So I don't see any for two, so two is gonna be blank. And then four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. Eight stones were four inches, so this is seven. So that's gonna be eight. That's the halfway point with four on top, four on the bottom, cool. Um, and then we're back down to seven stones were six inches. So this is, our line plot and all of the information looks like it's displayed correctly. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! And here we go with Forest Caller, 2257 points of damage. After this battle, I think we are going to call a, a quits for this video. We're going to say goodbye and then we will find the sprikes, hopefully. Uh, or at least the mandrakes um, in our next video. Create a bar graph of the data. Your group completed a survey of students' favorite types of books. Click on the gray area above the category to shade in the missing bar. 
So our group's results, two students liked fiction, three students liked nonfiction, four students liked comics. Now remember, if this reading is still challenging for you, have it read out loud to you. This is here to help you, and if you follow along with the text as you listen to it, it can be very beneficial for your reading as well. It exposes you to more words and more language. So, woohoo! So use those tools that are there. All right, 2269, one more correct answer, and we will be moving on. 1326 points of damage. Okay, let's go ahead and... It didn't say you were new, I don't think, so let's do Falling Star Smash. Um, measurement of the length of kite strings. So, in this line plot, how many kite strings have a length of 5 meters? So there is one x up here so that'd be one kite string that is five meters long so we have one here and cast our spell Woohoo! so most of the kites are longer than five meters all right we've won this battle forest caller is running away and we are ready to go ahead and sneak on past this area and probably say goodbye. So let's open up our chest. There we go. 100 gold coins, 20 florins. That's awesome. Click next. Let's go ahead and blow our dandelions and see what's caught inside. 20 florins are caught underneath the dandelions. That's awesome. Okay, so here we are. We have a couple of new guys up here and we also have um, our the horsey person uh there so but we're, we're gonna go ahead and stop right now and um uh we will continue to try to find more mandrakes um after this video we're getting pretty close to saving uh Fire, firefly forest and helping her out uh helping flora out we're 50 percent done with this so that is pretty exciting let's go ahead and x out of this and uh make sure you subscribe make sure you like we will be back here on thursday to find out where these mandrakes are okay keep on prodiging on keep up with your math work hopefully Summerfest is right around the corner um uh take care bye bye